Hey everyone, it's Melissa. So today we are making red velvet cheesecake um, with a cream cheese frosting. So you will need a small bowl. You will need a big bowl. Um, baking soda, make sure it's not baking powder. Um, you will need two eggs. You need vanilla extract. You need canola oil. You will need powdered sugar. You need your cream cheese. Sorry, I just drew a blank. And you will need uh, some kind of cake flour. Now, this is our brand that we have in Vegas. Your brand um, may be totally different. But as long as it says cake flour and you're not using regular um, flour, that's perfectly fine. You will need, um, obviously, a red dye. You will need one full bottle. Um... You'll need pecans. Now, if you do not like pecans, you can um, make it walnuts, or you can just do it without um, pecans. You don't have to have it. A lot of people don't like it with pecans, but I do. So we need. You also need the Hershey's cocoa. It's just a natural um, sweetener, and then you also need um, regular sugar. And last but not least, you will need white distilled vinegar. Now, we buy our vinegar by the gallon because we use a lot of vinegar in a lot of uh, Filipino recipes. So, it's just cheaper for us to buy it by the gallon, but you will not need this um, whole thing. So, I'm going to mix it up, and then I'll be right back. Okay. So, now we have all of our dry ingredients in this um, bowl here, and then we have our wet ingredients in this bowl. So, what you want to do is... Fold, um, you want to add your dry ingredient, like um, about a cup at a time, add some into the wet, and then add your buttermilk um, as you, sh as you um, stir, so that way the flour is not going everywhere when you turn your mixer on. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now after you mix everything and put everything um, in the three nine inch round pie pans or cake pans, whatever you guys want to call them, you just want to spread your batter out evenly through all three of them. And then you want to do the little drop to get all the air bubbles to come up so you don't have um, a lopsided cake. So make sure you drop each pan and you'll see, like, I don't know if you can see. See right there, there's air bubbles. And you'll see all the air bubbles come up. So, yeah. After this, we're going to put it in the oven for three, at 350 for about, I want to say an hour. Um, I will put everything below. I usually don't go by time. I just pick. <laughs> so I'm going to have to time it as I go so that way I can just um, put it I'll put it in the description below so I'm gonna time it as I go just to see the roundabout figure but like I said I'm, I don't usually measure things so I had to measure today too so alright I will come back to you guys when, when this is done so then I can teach you guys how to make a good um, layered cake alright bye bye okay so here's our cakes after they came out the oven for 20 two minutes um it's a little dark let me see turn on the light mamas so i don't have the light on in my kitchen but it's a little it's a little it's not too like you can't tell like if it's golden brown or anything so you just have to basically time it but as you can see you just poke a hole in it if it comes up clean it comes up clean and then so this has to cool for 10 minutes so while this cools, I usually just um, make my frosting, and today Alize is going to be helping me. So we have our powdered sugar, our cream cheese. Um, your cream cheese has to be softened. So what I like to do is, while these are in the oven, I put the whole pack of cream cheese on top of the oven. So that way that it'll, the heat from the oven will melt 
this and make it soften to room temperature or a little bit warm. So that's what I like to do. It's just easier than just having it cold right out of the oven. I mean, right out of the refrigerator and it's be um, really, really hard to blend. So you'll just put your, put your, um, here mamas. You just put your cream cheese in here. Can I open it? Mm-hmm. And then she's going to pour the... You just pour the whole box in. Alright. Then you're just going to start mixing. You want to make sure you get, you want to make sure you start mixing with the cream cheese because if not, the powdered sugar will go all over the place. Hi, hi, tuna song. Okay, so I'm going to mix this up really good because she can't get the sides, and then I will be right back. Okay, so once you, um, once you get it to where it's like almost a little bit whipped, you want to add your pure vanilla asterisk. So then we will start whipping it. And as you can tell, once you start getting whipped, it'll start um, being, it'll start forming to your, to your blender. So don't worry about that. <laughs> My son's over there licking the spoons. And he says, what'd you say? You like the best red velvet cake in the world. <laughs> He's a mess. Okay, so once your um, frosting is all whipped, that's all you need. And then you'll just spread it out um, evenly. I will show you guys how to do that in a second. As soon as these cool, they're almost there. So, I'll teach you how to layer your cake properly and um, make you a whole red velvet cake. Alright, so I'll see you guys as soon as uh, these cool. They're almost there. They're still a little warm. Because if you put them on, if you put stuff on warm, then your frosting will melt. So, you want to make sure that your cake is fully, fully cooled off. Alright, bye-bye. Oh. Okay, so first you want to do is take out um, your cakes and put them on a plate if you would like. I forgot to um, dust my pans with flour, so my middle got stuck. So make sure you please dust your pans with flour. So um, you take it out and you put it here. So how you're going to make your layer your cake is you want to just cut your tops off. So that way, and you only want to cut your tops off off of um, two of your layers. Or if you have a four layer cake, you only want to do it off of um, three. Because your top layer, it doesn't matter. So you want to make sure it's just flat like that. And then you'll add your frosting and you'll add your um, pecans if you like pecans in your layers. If not, you just add your pecans. Um, to the top coat and that's pretty much you do so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna layer I'm gonna layer the frosting in and the cake and then I'll do the next one and I'll see you guys when I get to the third one okay so this is how I do it I just put a little bit on the insides we got she got the how the halves of them but usually we use um, pecan chips 
um, they're really, really chopped and you won't be able to taste them. So you can either use those or you can use these. We like I said, we like pecans, so we like <coughs> to use the um, the halves. So like I said, it's not that much frosting. You just want to cover just the insides because the the edges will all be covered with it on the outside. So all right, I'm gonna top it off and then I will be right back. Okay, so this is your final look. This is what you will look it'll look like. And you want to make sure that you see no red on your cake, just so that way people wouldn't know it's a red velvet cake. And you want to make sure that most of your cookie crumbs are in the cake and not on, in your frosting. Um, so yeah, you just put it on the top. You can even put them on the sides, but I find that if you put it on the sides, when you cut, it's a little hard to cut. So I just put them all on the top. So yeah, that's it, and um, once we cut to this after dinner, I will just put a picture at the end of the video so you guys can see. Alright, happy holidays!